question Just where we'll point that bow Nobody knows Well we don't know if it's gonna be Feast or famine So sit your ass back And enjoy the Big John Show Let it go Watch that stuff over All right, welcome back, lifers. Uh, it's been a minute since we were able to get out on a hunt for y'all. I can't remember the last hunt we did, to be honest. Uh, it's been, I think, a little, around a week, a little over a week. I had some tooth issues, all that. Big John came by, and we did that review. Uh, my face was still just a little swollen right in there, but uh, it was getting better around then. But a few days after that, uh, excuse me. But it's a few days after that, uh, I finally got it all to go away. And during all that, the, uh, the, uh, whoops, son, the truck tire decided to go flat. So we're going to try to pull that off and fix it this afternoon whenever, or pull it off this afternoon and get it fixed in the morning. Uh, that way I can have the truck back up and running. I don't know if y'all can tell I had to steal the car. There's still car seats in here. <laughs> But we got a back end with a, a big old plastic sheet bag thing that we can throw back there if we actually shoot one. Also, probably have a few people I can call with trucks that'll uh, come haul a deer to my house. So, if we shoot one, hopefully we can call somebody and get somebody in here. But, worst comes to worst, we can throw it in the back of this car and hopefully it's not too big and it'll fit. But, uh, we're going to go out to this one spot. We got kind of a long walk in. I'm going to walk in. And the way we got the wind, it should blow it down the side of the lake. And I'm going to J-hook back into the spot a little bit. So, uh, kind of going to walk in and make a longer walk to have the wind at our advantage. But did this last year, shot a buck. So hopefully I can do it again this year and shoot a buck. Who knows? But that's what we're going to do. I uh, got a buddy's muzzleloader, uh, Brandon's. It's Brandon's muzzleloader, actually. He's letting us borrow it. I figured that'd be a little bit better over here. Uh, might actually be able to see some more and we're gonna get loaded up and head out there for y'all This armadillo <laughs> I think he's gonna follow me them through them briars and he's still just a follow but we're gonna get on back to the spot all right guys <clears throat> all right guys so we just got set up in the spot um we're kind of got it, like i said where we could see quite a bit so we got quite a bit of shot opportunity i would think um now they have a section right back here that gets real skinny on the lake that they'll come through and they typically ride through this thick stuff down here. It'll come up, come up over the hill, right up in there. And they got a few uh, rubs and stuff right down in there. And I think there's a few somewhere right down in here. And they could like to tend to come up right up through there. We J hooked all the way around to keep our scent going that way so we looped all the way came up over this hill got about right here and we can see all this now and they tend to like to move right down through there and go up that hill for the most part or they'll come down from that hill because with it being the afternoon I wouldn't be doubted if they're bedded up in there Footsteps. I think it was a squirrel, but they're likely to be bedded up in there and even maybe move off down through here but We'll just kind of see what happens and wish us luck
Alright guys, we're getting close to the last little bit. As y'all can see, we had those few deer come through. But, uh, we'll kind of talk more on that when we get back to the to the car. Uh, we're going to sit a tad bit longer to the camera can't get no more light. And then we're going to head out of here. I'm starting to get pretty cold too. So, we'll be headed out of here pretty soon. As soon as it gets where I can't see some of these little limbs and and stuff like that where I'm worried about shooting and hitting a little tree or something too. But uh we'll get back to y'all when we get back to the car. Just kinda after after everything's come through interview. But this hunt was more productive. We'll get back to y'all at the car. Alright guys, so we made it back out and back to the car. Uh told y'all I'd get back to y'all and kind of talk about how the hunt went. It went pretty good. We came in like we wanted to. We walked down by the side of the lake, looped around, did all that. And uh, that first doe, we'd have got more footage of her, but she kind of looped in and was coming like she was going to come across in front of me, kind of like the buck did, but a lot closer and more straight down the hill. And then she just kind of at the last second before I could uh, turn the camera and actually get it onto her she kind of turned and started walking towards the back side of me and then that's when I was kind of able to once she got around the tree a little bit I was able to get the camera off the thing and just go ahead and kind of spin around and show y'all behind the tree what she was kind of what she had already came down to the point of where our wind was going behind us she had come down kind of took a few whiffs didn't really think nothing of it other than that don't smell right so she turned around and from where she turned around and started walking out was kind of what y'all got to see but uh she kind of walked more over the hill at that time after she smelled us instead of walking the same way that she came but uh that buck did exactly like what we were going to tell y'all come out of them uh that thicker bottom or pretty much and he came up that ridge and was just kind of cruising um, it was about 30 minutes, 40 minutes after the doe. Uh, he definitely wasn't in there to really just, he wasn't chasing her, but he was on the search for another doe. So that's still a good sign. It's going to pick back up just a little bit, uh, right through here, right towards the end of this month, beginning of the, the December. It'll kind of flurry back up a little bit, not as much as, uh, the main rut, but the, you'll see cruisers and chasers like that here and there. Uh, for probably another week or so probably on until probably I'd say about December 10th 12th somewhere in there You'll see kind of some good action peak back up and then it'll peak back down and kind of ease off again, but uh, We're gonna get on out of here get back to the house. Hope y'all enjoyed remember like and subscribe uh, We're also going to be doing the membership content So we're gonna be putting some videos out for that here soon so remember, go ahead and become a member. That way you can keep up with all the new stuff that not everybody else gets to keep up with. Um, but love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. We're glad y'all could come and watch the video. Uh, and we're going to get out of here.